cards. If anyone else wishes to speak, pick up a card and then drop it off up here or up there. David Cohen, Dave Cohen. You have three minutes. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm a 27 year resident of Georgia, all in Dunwoody. Love the city and thank you all for your service. About a year ago at this time, you approved the usage agreement with Dunwoody Senior Baseball for decades, very good about um, conducting middle school baseball and rec baseball. I believe they have strayed from their mission and as a result of their non-exclusive agreement, which became ultra exclusive, people like me, Dunwoody citizens, residents, voters, taxpayers, the people who put you in office, we were denied any opportunity to play organized baseball on a regular basis at the fields that we all own. Uh, I saw this occurring. I spoke with Councilman Lambert in November, and then in, I believe in December and January, started um, talking or corresponding with Brent Walker. And we were asking for only three hours once a week, 1.4% of the total playing time at the Brook Run Fields. That was denied. We were denied 12 out of 500 fundraising games that Dunwoody Senior was allotted by the city. But most egregiously, and we saw this coming and mentioned it, that Dunwoody Senior actually ran an adult league, took in $33,000 in fees, but it was an 18 to 35 league. They discriminated against the adults like me, over 35 who play baseball. Fortunately, all of my correspondence and complaining, I believe has resulted in a situation that you'll hear about later today, tonight, where you're entertaining uh, MABL's offer to conduct adult baseball. I'm here tonight to say that is a very solid organization. They're national, they know what they're doing, they're fair, they're equitable. I think it'll be a very good thing for the baseball players of Dunwoody, men and even women who are capable of playing who are above the age of 35, who were totally locked out of playing in 2021. And uh, I believe there's a, a possibility we may even be able to play in November. So I'm urging you tonight to, um, you know, ask questions about MABL, if that's the opportunity you have, but make sure that their dealing is direct with the city and not through a third party like Dunwoody Senior Baseball, which has done a great job for decades with youth, but they have strayed from their mission in running an adult league. And uh, like I said, we have not had the opportunity to play on a regular recurring basis between April and August. We started, we asked for 16 games to get down to 12. Thank you, Our Mr. money Cohen. was as good as anybody else's, and they wouldn't accept us. Thank you very much. Earlier this year, we promised the parks director that we'd, we'd expand our baseball offering to ages past 35. I'm here to tell, and I told them what we'd have a plan by the end of the year. And I'm here to tell you today that I will hold through on that promise, just like all others. Thank you. Thank you again. Um, Dunwoody baseball players over 35 want to play on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Sunday night. They work full days, they come home, they have a few minutes with their families, they want to be able to get to a field close by which Brook Run represents. It is absolutely ludicrous that Dunwoody Senior Baseball, which virulently opposed us using the field, now wants to create an adult program. Uh, Brent had asked us to submit dates on March 15th. A couple of days later, I got an email from Jay Cap, who was here, and he said, we will not give you any dates. We're keeping all the dates. So now suddenly they want to create, you know, and reinvent the wheel. Um, MABL is a national organization that has decades of expertise. They know how to do it. They will do it right, equitably organized, fairly. Dunwoody Senior Baseball needs to stay in their lane. They have done a wonderful job with Middle League Baseball, with Rec Baseball, Under 18, Fall Ball, 
I think they've had a role in travel ball, but they should not be in adult baseball. Let the experts do it. And I would say to, to all of you that uh, there are thousands of players around the country who've used the Brook Run fields and dozens of very wealthy private and parochial schools from greater Atlanta, all outside of Dunwoody, that have used our fields. They paid to rent them. We've not been given that opportunity. And those schools, the Westminsters, the Piuses, the Lovets, whoever they are, have never, ever rented their fields to any men's league. So what's good for the goose should be good for the gander. Um, men, not men, but Dunwoody players above 35 want to play on those weeknights, not Friday and Saturday. And those are the least desirable hours, the coldest hours. That's the best time for us to play. I would also suggest that you draw up a list of priority usage of the fields, the middle school, the rec school leagues under 18, the adult leagues, travel ball, outside leagues in the summer that are money makers for the city and fundraisers for Dunwoody Senior Baseball, and then the fall schedule. Again, middle school, rec under 18, adult, travel, outside rentals, and fall ball. I, I think MABL is the best way to go to structure an adult program. There's more than ample time for Dunwoody Senior to run all their programs, but let them stick to what they know how to do and let MABL operate an adult league. Thank you very much for hearing me, and uh, I hope we can work this out. This is a great place to live, and uh, this is an incredible facility that we have. Thanks.